Okay, so this has been absolutely amazing. The energy keeping high, and the energy is all, all you. Oh, Bathsheba is, she is cranking out the tunes. She's making people feel excited when they come into the Ultimate Women's Expo. Give me a little bit of background. First, introduce yourself and tell us how you got into music, how you got into this whole energy kind okay. of getting people cranked up and ready to roll. All right. Well, my name is Bathsheba Adams, and I'm from Elkhart, Indiana. I act, I DJ, I host, I MC. I run a nonprofit for foster children called Eyes Like Mine, Inc. And basically, I actually just use all my gifts and talents to fund my nonprofit, honestly, because my, my biggest passion is to help foster children since I was a foster kid myself. And I just, you know, I grew up in the foster care system, never had a family, and wanted to just continue to give back to that community. And so um, I, I grew up with a lot of different talents. Talents. You know, I can sing, I can act, I can model, I can do all these different things, massage. I mean, I mean, I'm an athlete, super athlete. And so I always ask God, like, what he wants me to do. And I feel like my purpose on this earth is to help foster children. So I just kind of take all these different gigs to support my nonprofit. So if anyone wants to help out, it's eyeslikemindinc.org. <laughs> That'd be great. Eyeslikemind.inc.org. Okay, so let's actually dive into a little bit of that because when we think of somebody who's like on the party circuit, all the, tell me a little bit about how, A, how you came up with the name and around what age did this kind of come to you? Because, you know, this is, when you find that synergy or that space within and you know you have a calling, yeah. a lot of times you're much older. You yes. look pretty young. So please share with me that journey. Oh, don't make me tell my age. Um, okay, I'm not going to tell my age. But <laughs> I, um, I came up with Eyes Like Mine because when I look into the kids' eyes, I see myself. And so I named it Eyes Like Mine. But I, um, I got incorporated in 2015, but I've been helping foster kids my whole life, you know, 10 plus years ago, you know. So I, I, do, I do a lot for foster children. And I didn't know about incorporation, you know, growing up in the foster care system. You miss grades. You miss, you know, you don't have the, the proper family structure. So there's not a lot people tell you about, you know, to start your own business and things like that. So I, um, I learned about incorporation status. And um, that's how I was able to get a lot more support from different corporations. And, you know, I have a gala every year that I do. And I I'd love for you all to attend, anyone who's watching. It's a, a gala, it's a charity gala Christmas. We do um, Christmas gifts for the kids. We give away a scholarship. You know, we have live entertainment, DJ, um, food, and all of that. So it's a great time. And uh, that's, that's for, I found my passion, though, I guess, like, I would say 11 or 12 years ago. <laughs> awesome. That's, okay, that's we're going to try and get a rage out. Don't, don't who's your that? favorite boy band? I don't have one. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm trying, folks. I'm trying. I, you never know nowadays. Boys. I, ah! Okay, there is no way. No way. You are so pretty. Okay, so when we're talking about charity, we're talking about, like, we see events like this, mm -hmm. right? This is a big event. There's a lot yeah. of vendors here. There's a lot going on. And a lot of these vendors have a lot in common with you with stories. Like, mm -hmm. they have a passion from within, yeah. and they had a need, and so they... they built something around that. What has been some of the stories or some of the people that you've met at events like this or this specific event that really is like, oh, that's very cool. You know, I'm glad I yeah. showed up. Um, well, I would say like every stage I get on, I always, you know, spread foster care awareness. And so every stage I get on, I always end up having people come up to me like, oh, I was a former foster child myself. And so we connect and they come, you know, support eyes like mine and they just become a part of the team and they help the kids with me. And, you know, I can't do this by myself. So I, I get a lot of former foster kids. I get foster mothers who have foster children. I get, um, you know, f companies that work in the foster care field, whether they have offer services like either um, transitional housing or. Um, scholarships or grants or just different supplies to the kids so I connect with a lot of different people just by spreading foster care awareness and there's like a person um, here they have children's books so we like you know they're for like supposed to be like sleep time children's books to help relieve you know to help calm yeah. them and a lot of the foster kids suffer with insomnia and anxiety and things so I thought that was a really cool thing it comes with like tea and they have like bedtime so I thought you know that's a good vendor for to you know to connect with the kids and give them the books and let you know let them kind of relax and be able to go to sleep hopefully so um, but yeah, so I meet a lot of cool vendors that are into giving back and um, supporting foster children themselves. So it's, it's always a great time. <laughs> I, I heard a great quote recently, and she said, the gal, she's a, she teaches people how to grab opportunity. And she said, every opportunity that comes across your plate for the next six months, if, as long as it's legal and moral, yeah. do it. What would you say? 
Amen. Yes, yeah. amen. Yeah. I, d I definitely do that. I saw this tour that they were doing, the expo, and um, I, you know, I actually called them. I was like, do you guys have a DJ? Because <laughs> I would love to join you. Like, I want to just spread more foster care awareness, and, you know, like, I just want to come along with you to every event. I have my own transportation, you know, blah, blah, blah. So, Oh, so I, are you going to be in Atlanta, yeah, another in, one? Yeah, I'll oh, be in all of them. I'll be joining you guys on all of them. <laughs> of the Ultimate yes. Women's Expo. So, that is awesome. I did. I mean, and it was just by the grace of God because, like, they didn't even have a DJ yet. So it just worked out. So oh, <laughs> it was meant to You be. are an amazing fit and a yeah. beautiful face to come oh, thank into. You so much. Thank you so much thank for you. sharing your story. Thank you.